YouTube, it's Justin. Uh, today, this video is how to pick gear ratios for your trucks. Okay, I had a guy call me this weekend and ask me a whole bunch of gear ratio questions and he said, I should probably do a video and talk about how to pick gear ratios for your truck. So I thought, well, hell, that's a great idea. So let's go ahead and get into this. So pick and gear ratio or the final drive of your rear ends is kind of important, okay? There's a couple things that you have to take into consideration when you're picking gear ratios, okay? The first thing is, is what type of work to, are you going to do? Are you going to be all highway? Are you going to be pulling like a dump bucket or a van, uh, reefer, that type of stuff? Are you trying to drive down the highway straight? Okay, or is the ground 90% of the time or even 50% of the time, what is your ground like? Okay, does that mean are you going to be going up and down hills or are you mostly in flat terrain? Uh, because that has a lot to do with gear ratio. Also, uh, horsepower and torque rating of the engine has a lot to do with it. And the type of transmission uh, you go with will... Uh, decide kind of a little bit of a gear ratio issue uh, too. So <clears throat> how I picked mine, okay, this is what my criteria is and kind of what gear ratios I run. So on all my trucks, I run a 2050 torque engine. 565 is basically about as small as I go. I may go to a five and a quarter uh, 1850, but I like the 2050 torque. Now, what that 2050 torque does is, is it lets me pull hills with a lower gear ratio. Okay, now the reason that I'm trying to lower the gear ratio is, is every, you know, couple hundred RPM you can take out of that engine, um, it doesn't work as hard. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, shit. I'm a guy, I'm, I'm a believer in this. I'm a believer in big horsepower, Okay, and low RPM, not turning the engine too high. I want to be in the optimal optimal power range of the engine, okay? So I don't want it at 2,000 RPM driving down the highway at 70 miles an hour, okay? I want it about, at 70 miles an hour, I'd like it to be anywhere from 1,400 to 1,500, maybe 1,600, somewhere in there, Okay. Now, also a little bit of tire tire knowledge. So, let's say that you buy a truck with 500 horsepower, 16, 1650 foot pounds, but you bought an Allison or you want an Allison transmission. Okay. Now, the Allison transmission is really good out of the hole. The first gear ratio is really good, but the problem with the Allison is is it has where it kind of wants to lug the motor way down. It, it'll pull it way down. So with that amount of torque, you're going to have to go to a taller gear, like maybe a 438 or like a 422 or something in that range, in the four and a quarter range, because your engine, you know, you will run out of, you know, going down the highway at 76 mile an hour, it's going to be tacked out. It's going to be 1800, something like that. It's going to be wound tight with that type of gear ratio. Now what you can do is put taller tires on it. So my Allison transmission trucks, which I, I don't recommend the Allison. Uh, I, people love it, but I, I'm, not, I'm not sold on it. Okay, I like the 18 speed ultra shift, to be honest with you. But it's a different conversation. We're talking about gear ratio. So uh, the, how tall the tire you put on it. So I run a 24 and a half, 11 R, 24 and a half inch tall tire. Now I run a taller tire because the tire load limit is about 500 pounds more per tire. They also take 120 PSI to where like a 22.5 will take 110. But I'm trying to get sidewall thickness so it doesn't squat the truck as much. But what it does allows me with a 391 gear ratio with the 24.5 tire, that puts me at about like a 373, somewhere in there, okay, where you have really good, you know, I can pull a lot of hills without downshifting, maybe you have to downshift one gear and it goes up the hill. Uh, that's also because we got big power and stuff like that. But if I had a 1650 torque, I would probably want to go to like 
a 411 or something a little bit taller, even an 1850 Torque, something a little bit taller, to help pull the hills. So <clears throat> that's kind of what you're thinking about when you think about what gear ratio do I want. Figure out what you're going to be doing, okay? We do a lot of highway, not a lot of off-highway stuff. You know, we may back into a dump occasionally, so I don't need that like 456 or, you know, the old school way of doing it. Guys put these huge gears in these things, and the truck just running around fucking tacked out all the time, just drinking the fuel. Just It's just, you got nowhere to go. Also, you know, the lower gear ratio, that's why you see a lot of like road tractors, they got like 325 gears in them things, like airplane gears, man. They roll down the highway just, you know, they don't turn a lot of RPM. It's because they're saving their motor life. You want to lower that motor. But in the dump truck world, you know, you really got to decide what you're going to be doing, what engine combination you're going to run, what transmission combination you're going to run, what size tire you're going to run. And that's going to help you to determine your gear ratio, just to let you know. Also, horsepower and torque the engine has something to do with it. I know that people are probably going to tell me that I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about, but okay, I got a pretty good idea. Just like back when we were drag racing, okay, if the track got really good, we would put a smaller tire on it, okay? Less effort to turn that tire when the track is really sticky. You're trying to, you don't want to mow through the clutch. It has the, you know, you can also control it with air pressure, uh, you know, when the track got really hot, you put a taller tire on it, okay? More effort to turn that, you know, it, it doesn't, it wants to have a slower wheel speed to help get you going. Think about it like that. That's basically, you know, the situation, uh, how I kind of figure out a gear ratio is taller tire, less effort to turn that, you know what I'm saying? It makes more revolutions in a shorter distance because you have two and a half inches of tire, also, it lowers the gear ratio a little bit, uh, makes it not, you know, it takes the aggressiveness out of it. <clears throat> so, just a little drag racing knowledge if you're ever watching it. That's how they pick tire size. Okay, uh, so that's how I kind of pick gear ratio. I uh, hope this, uh, you know, helps you guys. If you have any comments or anything, leave them down there. I mean, I'm not going to answer it, but what the fuck ever. But, uh, you know, let me know how you guys kind of do gear ratio, but uh, that's my thoughts on it. So, like always, check out Justice Sergio Trucking Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. Uh, Patreon account, throw in a buck a month if you liked what I'm talking about. Or throw a dollar in the month so you can tell me to fuck off on my Patreon account. It's no big deal. Uh, like always, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys out. And uh, I gotta fucking go.